Alright, back into water once again, and, uh, yeah, I, um, on opening it up today, kind of much to my surprise, the battle range changes have been implemented. Now, I can't actually check the list, if there is a list, because Gaijin have actually done something amazing as normal and locked the changes behind Google's, you know, um, type thing. <laughs> so, all I can do is basically look myself and see what I think has been changed from what I recall, you know, from what I know of the game. So let's have a look, shall we? No, I'm not really that fussed about the aircraft. I mean, I don't think there is, has been that many changes. I think the main part is actually with regards to the aircraft of certain nations. Um, as far as I know, the only tank change was the Panther F. Yeah, that's been put down to 6.0. And, uh, which is probably where it should have, should have actually been, to be honest, because it's not very good. Um, it's basically a poor man's Panther II. And to be honest, I think the Panther II could maybe get dropped down a little bit as well. It is a very powerful and um, useful vehicle, but the turret armor is pants. It really is quite pants. Um, and what else have we got? So, yeah, I think that was the only tank change that they publicised prior to putting this into action. Now, there may be a few of those that I haven't noticed, but they're probably down here somewhere if there are any changes. Um, as, you know, I don't really follow the lower battle ring, uh, lower tier battle rings. So, uh, let's have a look at the Americans now. Yeah. There is no, there is a list for the changes, iFox, but Gaijin have hidden them behind Google, so I can't actually see them. It's so just you know Gaijin doing a Gaijin type thing. Um, now, as far as these tanks go, yeah, no changes there, as far as I can see. T92 has been put down to tier 4 now, though that's something they didn't actually publicise. I'm pretty sure of that one. Um, let's see anything else there? No. Not that I can see it, at least anyway. As far as the aircraft went, they did actually publicise that they were going to drop the F80 down to uh, 7.0, but they've kept it at 8.0. Mainly because the you know community went, what the fuck are you doing, you morons? Um, so they kept it at 8.0. But the funny thing is, this is the really funny thing. Obviously, they kept that at 8.0, alright? But they changed the attacker down to 7.0 and the Meteor Mark 3 down to 7.0. They were actually going to put the C Meteor down to uh, 7.0 as well. But obviously they've, you know, someone kicked them in the balls and said, no, seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Um, or something about the face, you know. As they kind of need it. Uh, but yeah, that's um, to the 8.0, but that's down at 7.0 now, which is good. At least for the British, because now it means that the British kind of have a opening jet to take out. The F3, uh, sorry, the Mark 3 isn't bad, as far as I am. Um, Remember, I've not flown it in quite some time, but it's um, down at 7.0 now, so it's not going to get clubbed by MiG-15s or anything else like that. Um, the attack is down at 7.0 as well, although I've not flown it out. It's not really my cup of tea, in for my, not my favourite. And yeah, the poor old vampire is still at 8.0. Sea Venom still at 8.0 or 9.0 even. And that thing's a pile of crap. That has, that should be 8.0 if if I'm honest. Um, you know, you can see the kind of difference in speed between that and the normal Venom, and it's still at 9.0. You know, balance. 
Um, I suppose the Japanese went, I think there was only one change for them, and that was... The hay, yeah, the hay's gone back up to 5.0. Um, the rest of them haven't been changed apart from this one, the M1K one that's been put up to 5.7 now because uh, it was clubbing a little bit too much. And uh, here we go, this is the big one. The big change here to try and cure the cancer that is in War Thunder at the moment is dun 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 it's at eight point oh now uh, da, da, so that won't be clubbing six point oh's anymore six point threes six point sevens they're all safe from the two four cancer seven point oh's eh, they're gonna get clubbed by it or at least get into games with it eight point oh's yep definitely gonna be getting into games with that and probably nine point oh's so basically what they've done is they've saved tier 4 because tier 4s were getting up tiered into games well not Russian tier 4s obviously apart from maybe the tier 2 um, but Russian tier 4s were getting up tiered into games with the tier 4 at 7.0 and just you know that was it you can't really uh, say much more about that but since they've pushed the tier 4 down to 8.0 that basically is going to destroy jet games quite simply you're going to get all of these aircraft, like the MiGs that have been down to 7.0, they're still going to get into 2 4 games. They're going to get updated into 8.0 games now. Um, LA-15, yeah, that's the uh, same battle rain. IL-28, doesn't really matter because that's cancer as well. So cancer and cancer equals d super cancer. Um, MiG-15, MiG-15 bursts, yeah, 30, MiG-17. These all have the chance of getting into a game with that piece of crap and uh, therefore, you know, get boned. But, it's not so bad if you think about it for the Russians, because the Russians obviously have the T4 on their side, so they're more likely going to win these games, or at least, you know, have the cancer on their side, fighting with cancer. Um, but, everyone else is fucked. So, you know, Attacker, even though it's been downed, Meteors, since that's been downed, pretty much all the British get jets. Actually, yeah, all of the British jets can now fight against the T4s. Um, Americans, I see. Yeah, all the American jets can still fight against the T4s. Germans, ME163 is at the same battle range. That's actually not bad because that can, well, as I kind of like flew that out last week and found it can actually deal with T4. It's probably one of the only jets that can, if I'm honest, because it gets an air spawn um, and because of its insane climb rate, even when it's stopped. But obviously, it's not got much ammunition, so you're kind of limited to maybe getting one or two of them. However, everything else here is in T4 territory um, 262, Arado, Horton. Um, MiG-9, ME-262, 262, and CL-13, and the ME-163 as well, as I mentioned. Um, the only ones that aren't going to avoid it, well, will avoid the 24 cancer, are the 162, 262 normal, and the, um, the B variant of the Arado. Everything else is fucked. Uh, for the Japanese, it's the same, apart from the kicker. The kicker is the only one that will avoid the 24 cancer. Everything else there is T4 spam, or going to be facing T4 spam for the most part, I guess. Um, and as far as I'm aware, I think that's about it. They did say that they were going to drop down the battle range for the P38J, which they have done. Um, so both that one, the J15, and Bong's J15, they're both at 4.0 now. They shouldn't really be there, but they are. The main reason for that is bad pilots. That's the way the battle rating system works in this game. The D5 is down to 4.3 now as well, which is again down to bad pilots. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I know as far as like realistic battle goes, there was only one change to tank BR. 
Um, and that was to the Panther F. They didn't change anything else. They seem to think that tanks is perfectly, uh, you know, working. Perfectly balanced and perfectly reasonable. Even though you still got that 7.3, that 7.3, and that 7.3. It's just funny. Oh, and that's still at 7.7. .7. Oh, lol. So, yeah, there's really nothing. I mean, like I said, the only thing that they changed was the Panther F, and they dropped that down by 0.3 of a battle rate. It's probably because no one's playing it more than anything. Is the spreadsheet actually working out? Let's have a look. Do I have access? Nope, still don't have access. And, uh, yeah, still don't have access. Okay, so, still can't see either any of the changes that they've apparently put in. Or are going to put in. Um, yeah, I mean, the spout rating system, it really needs to go. Um, the sooner the better. The longer it stays in game, the less players are going to be coming back, or the less players are going to actually be Well, against Russians, that doesn't bode well initially. Could mean I've been up to it against, you know, fucking T4 bullshit. In fact, I wouldn't put it past this matchmaker. Yeah, up to There we go. And one F80. And what's the bet? And they've got four fucking T4s on this team. In fact, they've got extra player as well. Brilliant stuff. Please, more three meteors. <laughs> well, I'm laughing because it just looks great, but obviously. We've all been emptied, and we're going to get fucked by goddamn T4 bullshit. You know. And one T4. We might be looking there, it may only just be one of them. Oh no, they've got Yat 30 as well. So let's have a look, shall we? We've got. Um, one 8.0 they've at least got two already from what I can see considering the Act 30 oh no two to you for us last balance matchmaker they've got 9 or 28 as well yeah GG Gajin GG And fuck you, R28. Three, two, four. Okay, well, that's brilliant. We're dead then. I might as well have just fucking bailed out at the start. Okay, I'm going up for this asshole. Why him? He's put my plane by him at least. Right, well that's me done for this then. I'm just gonna land the bail. 
put this bullshit. Actually, they've got six. I made it down. And I can't repair. Fucking amazing. Well, there you go. He didn't get the kill, at least that's the main thing. And that sums up the test, really. As I kind of expected with this uh, mash maker. You'll very, will very really get down tiered with it. <laughs> 